The Community Redevelopment Agency of the City of Los Angeles is a public agency that serves as a catalyst for community growth and prosperity. Our mission is to make strategic investments to create economic opportunity and improve the quality of life for the people who live and work in our neighborhoods. With the assistance from the Urban Simulation Team at UCLA, this 3D simulation model is intended to highlight some of the projects in the Exposition University Park Redevelopment Project Area. Starting from downtown Los Angeles, we will travel south towards the project area. The original project area was adopted in 1966. The project area was further expanded through two amendments, one in 1983 and another in 1989. The red area outlines the original project area, and the blue outlines the expanded areas which include areas along Vermont Avenue, Figueroa, and the surrounding Exposition Park area with the new southern boundary of 41st Street. The expanded project area includes several major cultural and educational institutions, which we will see later. Today, the project area spans 573 acres. We will drop to street level and travel south on Figueroa, past Adams Boulevard, and encounter our first proposed development on the Figueroa Corridor. 2700 Figueroa Street will be a seven-story project with 171 apartments and about 22,000 square feet of ground floor retail space. The developer agreed to keep the property on the tax rolls for 20 years. It is estimated to generate about 300 construction jobs and 50 permanent jobs. The city has identified Figueroa as appropriate for smart growth projects that provide a mix of uses near transit. In 2007, the City Council approved an amendment to the Figueroa Corridor General Plan, allowing for increased height and density. Another proposed project on the Figueroa Corridor is at 3025 Figueroa Street. This project will be a three-story building with 34 apartments and 65 parking spaces. The developer agreed to keep the property on the tax rolls for 20 years. It is estimated to generate about 60 construction jobs. The note about retaining property on the tax rolls is key to ensure the city continues to receive tax revenue from the project, even if the project is sold to a tax-exempt entity which is a common occurrence in South Los Angeles. Traveling east on 31st Street is our next project. This will be a six-story building with almost 900 square feet of ground floor retail space, 30 apartments, and 63 parking spaces. The developer agreed to keep the property on the tax rolls for 20 years. It is estimated to generate about 70 construction jobs and two permanent jobs. The next project is located at Figueroa and Jefferson. University Gateway consists of 83,000 square feet of ground floor commercial space, 421 apartment units, and 770 parking spaces. The eight-story project consists of CVS, J.P. Morgan Chase, Yogurtland, Subway, and Freebirds World Burrito. The developer agreed to keep the property on the tax rolls for the life of the redevelopment plan it has generated about 900 construction jobs and 200 permanent jobs. Across the street is the USC Galen Center, a 245,000 square foot arena with a seating capacity of about 10,000. The athletic pavilion provides additional space for the university's athletic program and ancillary services. Although the $100 million center did not require public financial assistance, the developer entered into an owner participation agreement with CRA to facilitate the development. The new construction employed approximately 645 prevailing wage jobs, and the design incorporated CRA's public art policy. Traveling further south is our next project at Figueroa, an exposition. ICON is a six-story mixed-use building comprised of 56 apartments, 18,000 square feet of ground floor retail, and 159 parking spaces. The developer agreed to keep the property on the tax rolls for the life of the redevelopment plan. 
It is estimated to generate about 190 construction jobs and 50 permanent jobs. Taking a little detour along Exposition Boulevard, we'll encounter our first light rail station in the project area. The Exposition Light Rail Station near Figueroa and Exposition will see the train rise from its underground path to the on-grade track along Exposition. The Expo Line will travel along the Exposition Railroad right-of-way between downtown Los Angeles and Culver City. The Expo Line will be about 8.6 miles in length and parallel the heavily congested 10 freeway. Estimated travel time from downtown Los Angeles to Culver City is just under 30 minutes. The Expo Line project is considered a transit parkway that will be enhanced by bike and pedestrian paths as well as trees and landscaping along the alignment. The Expo Board certified the final environmental impact report for Expo Phase 2, the extension of the Expo Line from Culver City to Santa Monica. Heading back to Figueroa and further south is the next project, Tuscany. The mixed-use development consists of 120 housing units on four levels above 15,000 square feet of commercial space on the ground level. It generated about 180 construction jobs and 45 permanent jobs. Traveling further south on Figueroa Street, we'll encounter Exposition Park. The 160-acre tract was originally founded as an agricultural park in 1872. It consists of the African American Museum, Science Center, Expo Center, IMAX Theater, LA Coliseum, Natural History Museum, Rose Garden, Community Center, Science Center School, and LA Sports Arena. The park has an estimated 4 million visitors each year. The Coliseum is the only venue in the world to have hosted two Olympiads, two Super Bowls, and the World Series in 1959 where the LA Dodgers beat the Chicago White Sox in six games. Continuing south on Figueroa and past Martin Luther King Boulevard is the existing Stovall Terrace, a 97-unit HUD-202 affordable housing project built in 1987. The project's surface parking lot is the site of a proposed new development, Stovall Villa. This will consist of a four-story project with 32 age-restricted apartments. CRA entered into a loan agreement in September of 2009 for about $663,000. As a condition of the CRA loan, the developer agreed to extend the affordable housing covenants at Stovall Terrace for an additional 55 years. It is estimated to generate 58 construction jobs and three permanent jobs. In 1989, Bedford Group constructed a 137-unit affordable large-family housing project. The $13 million project utilized 9% affordable housing tax credits to provide much needed large family rental housing in the project area. Nearby is another affordable housing project, Chelsea Court, a 12 unit apartment building built in 1987. Continuing back to Martin Luther King Boulevard is the Expo Center area. CRA with state awarded funds is investing in the improvements to pedestrian access to the Expo light rail station by installing new sidewalks, landscaping, lighting, in the landscaped median on MLK Boulevard and along Bill Robertson Lane, formerly known as Menlo Avenue. It is estimated to generate about 17 construction jobs. In the early 2000s, CRA assisted with the development of the $30 million Exposition Park Intergenerational Community Center. It consists of an outdoor amphitheater, the Recreation and Aquatic Center, the Senior Citizens Center, and the Child Care Center. Friends of Expo Center commissioned a study that clearly demonstrated the community's interest in sports activities and underscored the need for safe outdoor recreational space. This inspired the Friends of Expo Center to build a $6 million state-of-the-art multi-use sports field on state-owned property. In June of 2008, CRA was awarded $30 million in Proposition 1C funding, of which $2 million was allocated to this sports field. CRA entered into a contract with Friends of Expo Center to fund the synthetic turf and portable covering. Enterprise Home Ownership Partners constructed these eight energy-efficient townhomes, which had been a vacant site for several years, utilizing the City of Los Angeles Small Lot Subdivision Ordinance. Traveling north on Vermont Avenue is the Vermont Seniors Apartments, a 140-unit senior housing development for very low-income individuals. 
Over the past few years, CRA has entered into loan agreements with the developer for a total CRA investment of about $11 million. In addition to adhering to prevailing wage and living wage requirements, the project employed about 160 construction jobs and one permanent job. Further north on Vermont Avenue is Jesse Burrow Jr. Park, a community park originally funded by CRA in late 1900s. At the intersection of Vermont and Exposition is a second light rail station in the project area. Traveling north on Vermont Avenue is our next site. In March of 2009, CRA purchased a 34,000 square foot property on Vermont Avenue from the Los Angeles Public Library for about $3.4 million. The property used to house the Mary McLeod Bethune Library until the LA Public Library constructed a larger replacement library at Martin Luther King Jr. Park about a mile away. The property represents an excellent opportunity site for redevelopment and proposals were recently solicited to the public. USC is undertaking a redevelopment of University Village, a retail destination for students and community residents, as part of the USC Master Plan to upgrade the existing retail opportunities. CRA expects to work with USC for design elements and land use discretionary approvals. Just north is the Fraternity and Sorority Row where CRA staff has been working with the community and property owners to preserve the historical features of the buildings. Our next project is Casa de Rosas, a transitional shelter consisting of 18 shelter beds and 32 single room occupancy units for very low income individuals. The building was recently acquired by CRA through a foreclosure as the former owner was negligent in the property management, leaving the property in structural disrepair and in financial turmoil. CRA has retained a temporary management company to stabilize the property and is seeking proposals for a permanent owner-operator. USC's University Park Campus master planning process is intended to provide a visionary framework for the physical development of the campus and the prosperity of its surrounding community in the coming years to accommodate the growth of the campus. It is important to note that the master plan only involves property for which the university currently owns and not properties in the established residential communities. The California Science Center is planning for construction of phase two of its master plan, which involves a new venue called the World of Ecology. At the eastern border of the project area is the Flower Drive Historic District. This district consists of 22 multifamily dwellings constructed between 1920 and 1928. All of the properties are two-story, multifamily dwellings with uniform setbacks. All buildings are interpretations of the Mediterranean revival style that was popular at the time. CRA staff will continue to enforce the historic nature of these properties and work with the property owners to preserve the historical features. As you can see, the CRA seeks to redevelop blighted areas using a comprehensive and holistic approach addressing areas of affordable housing, economic development, job creation and retention, urban design, public improvements and infrastructure, open space, public facilities, and business assistance. We continue to develop innovative responses to changing economic conditions with the goals of attracting private investment and creating a better quality of life today and for future generations. This is Billy Chun, project manager for the South Los Angeles region. If you have any questions regarding our projects in South Los Angeles, please contact me with the information shown. Thank you.